Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. He denied the female who was saying she was raped, broke the glass and went into a downstairs apartment with a knife and apparently stabbed somebody. Are we responding to a uh, suspicious case here where a young lady is screaming for help? And uh, we don't know what's going on yet. Okay, and here we're coming up on this right here. 591, we're following. Okay, here we go. They oh, man. do this to me. What happened? Where are you cut at? My hand. My hand is swollen right here. Look. Okay. Let me you see your hand. Okay, now, what happened? What did he do to you? He tried to break me in the room right here. He tried to rape me? Yes. And who is he? To, is he related to you? He's supposed to be my friend. I've been knowing him for a, a, a good month. So just a friend? now, yeah. Okay, and when you say he tried to rape you, what happened? We was back in the room. We was chilling. The guy, it was a guy back here. He left out, so he's going to stay back there. Okay. When he left out, he closed the door. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, don't close the door. Mm -hmm. And when he came over to me, he held my mouth and everything. He f up but my pants. And I was like, take me on, take me on. He put his Okay. Okay. All right. Calm down. He got me on, and I went home. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Just stay right here. Calm down. Just stay right here for a second. Then I go home. I was like, I ain't gonna worry about that. And I was like, that happened to me two times already. I been okay. two times already. I went home. Listen. Calm down. Okay. My money gone. I come back. Cause my money gone. Oh, Three four dispatcher. It doesn't matter. You need to put it on your. Ten four. Can you have rescue respond? For lacerations on the shoulders, hands, and legs. It's going to be in a temp rate. She's going to be a possible suspect killing a burglar in the house. Okay. Reference these guys. These are, these are the I'm guys she's talking about. They live here. Uh -huh. She's a possible uh, suspect, too. So uh, just, just keep on. Okay, who, who lives here? These two. Okay, what happened? You took her home. Yeah, she, home. Came she came came back, came through back, the door, banging and kicking. Okay. I knew something happened at her house, and I said, what, what's the matter? I just took you home. Right. Okay. And she came in, she pulled the razor, the razor's in there, and she just started destroying the house. And she uh, went in there and got a fork, she stabbed me on my back, she was biting me up. So so what was the reason she did this? For what reason? She, so said, said, she said her money was missing. I don't know what she's talking about. Now she blamed that on me because obviously from that couch right there and her purse was by that. So she said that I took her five hundred dollars. I did not take the money. Okay. Did not take the money. I woke up from a razor blade to my head. This girl yelling at me saying, Give me my money, you stole my money. And I came, she had crazy to her throat, so I said, Today, calm down. Okay. <laughs> okay, so where's the where's the the rape part? You try to rape her or anything like that or? Um, I don't know what you're talking about this now. Okay. How did she get those cuts on her? With the raisin and the fork. You see the kitchen? She, she did it to herself. Yeah. Let's, let's take a look at that. Let's see where it's at. There the, the stab marks in my back. Okay, let me see your back. Take me to lift your shirt up for a second. Okay, turn around. Turn around to you. Right. This is when I you know, try to get her off of him. Is that the razor you're talking about? No, I, I drew it up here. Okay. Behind the bread because she, <laughs> she was breaking things up so fast. 
And then she went outside and went to Zerk. Yeah, the, the yellow. Yeah. I woke up to a yellow razor blade to my head. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. Right. Okay, that's what you woke up here with. That's right. Right. Okay, that's what you were in that room there? I was in the next room on the couch laying down. Okay. All right, Andy. Oh, you punched me right. in the face. Put your hands behind you. Watch out. Watch out. Put your hands behind you. Is that a joke? Put your hands behind your back, man. Take your time. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a deep 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 breath. I ain't doing She's gonna kick him again. Yeah. Uh, she's going at the window again. Open the door. Open the door. Let me go! Ma'am. I don't care what you gotta say. What is your problem? I don't care. You gotta say he's trying to pray me. Why don't you just calm down, okay? Care. And let us know. Why don't y'all got me a handcuff? Calm down. Why no? no? Hell no! I got my right just like listen anybody up. else. Listen up. I got my right just like anybody listen, else. You don't have to calm down. You don't have to calm down. I, I am calm. Uh, what he raped me? Try to rape me or whatever y'all put cops on me? Strap me? What is that? He pull her back. Pull her back in, dude. Pull her back. Pull her back. Man, she's still going off over here. She's right where she need to be at. Yep. So when did she break the window again? Last thing she did right before you guys got here. So she was outside. I was looking out that back door watching you guys come and that's when she doused on the window. From out here. From out here, correct. She, she punched it with her hand? She uh, used the bottom of the uh, coat hanger there. Uh, and did you get cut at all? I didn't, no. She hit me, but you know, stuck the knife in my throat and that was about it. Okay. No, there was nothing. Hey, just brushed off. You all right? I'm fine, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. totally fine. Okay. Just a little bit awed by all this, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Just a little bit awed. Uh, you're a Navy? Correct. Must be a Navy SEAL, right? Huh? You're a Navy SEAL? I could be if I wanted to. Uh oh. We'll okay. see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. The call came out originally as an attempt rape. According to some of the other witnesses, no one's tried to rape her. So it's going to turn out to be, instead of a attempt rape, it's going to be a, a malicious assault her being a suspect it's because she assaulted uh, another officer so um, she wound up getting arrested you know, we're going to try and get her on out of here before she gets in more disorder than what she is mm -hmm. according to the um, this, the uh, one of the victims in there he's got stab wounds on his back mm -hmm. so well, it looks like a malicious assault on him and then felony assault on the officers over there so. okay there's a lot to do. In the summertime, we have the summer operations to start and concentrate on the ocean front. And there's a lot that you can do out here in the summer. You can ride a bike, you can ride a jet ski, you can work on the boats. Um, in addition to that, we have a detective bureau, like most departments. But uh, that's what I like the most about this. Okay, we're going to a swimmer in distress call. One of the hotel clerks currently called in and said that there was a child or children. Um, at this point, we're not unsure who or how many are on a raft. And they've been pulled out to sea, and, and at this point they're so far out that we can't see them at all from the beach uh, or from the fourth floor balcony of the hotel. So we've got our air unit up with a spotlight and with the infrared device trying to locate the people on the raft and see if we can figure out where they're at. We've also got some dive teams and a boat responding. Okay, follow from the hotel 
It looks like the air units found the raft. They're circling it now with the uh, spotlight on it. And it's really difficult to see from here, but it kind of looks like whoever's on it is trying to swim in, into shore. The sea is real quiet and calm. There's no waves out there at all. It's flat. So if they're old enough and strong enough, they should be able to make it. We just got information from the family members that apparently he's been drinking long before he ever went out on this raft. So there's a good chance that he either passed out on the raft or floated out to sea or was just too drunk to realize where he was and how far out he had gotten. Mariner? Yeah. Right in the middle of the crowd. Okay, I see him. Anybody know who he is? Nah, nah. So, <laughs> somebody said he got on his raft, he had a beer on his raft, he's got one sitting up there on the hood of town. I bet he doesn't have it now, though. Okay. No, I didn't even hear what was going on up there. What was it? There's a fight between two kitchen employees. I didn't even hear it. Tommy, whose case is this? Uh, well, it's actually... Transport. I think Transport 1 was the first one here in Manigo. What are you going to do when he gets out here? We're going to see if he's intoxicated. Yeah, we're going to confront him and see if he's been drinking, if he's a little too intoxicated to take care of himself or to get home safely. We'll probably have to take care of him. That is the guy that Let go of him. Let go of him. No, he's going to jail. He's going to jail. He's had too much to drink. How much did he drink today? Uh -huh. Did you bring a beer out there with you? No, I did not. What happened to you, man? I was just out there praying. I'm allowed to do that, aren't I? Did you fall asleep? No. No? I, I, I come into this off because I'm divorced and my kids... Yeah. How far out there were you? Uh, it was pretty far out there. What's the problem with that? Well, it was kind of unsafe. We're getting worried about you. We didn't know if you were awake or not. Oh, I was. I, I mean, obviously, I came back in by myself. Do you know how to swim? Yes, I do. You do? Okay. I do know how to swim. I know you guys are dumb. No, I don't think so, Kenny. You need to sit and think about it for a little while. Oh, thank you, Nick. Don't make any new friends. I told you not to go out there. I didn't do it. Yeah, don't I, didn't anything on. I don't suppose you got anything on you, do you? No, I have huh? nothing. Man, have you got his identification? I don't, I don't have any idea. 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 Okay, I didn't know if you had any idea. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have any idea. Can I have a cigarette? No, no, you can't. Go walk out. I'll down. pick you up later, Kenny. You're in trouble. He's going to be at 820 Virginia Beach Boulevard. You're in big trouble, Kenny. You I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you did. I just want to... Alrighty then. Folks, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, so I'm not I'm not trying to be a bad guy. But I was just I was just out swimming. Hold still, man. Hold still. I'm just out swimming. I'm just out swimming. I wasn't doing anything wrong. And you guys are skunk, man. No, I'm not. You have more two beers, right? No, I haven't. I haven't had more than two beers. I'm just out swimming. I wasn't doing anything wrong. You'll be able to get, you'll get dry, you'll get warm. Yeah, I, I don't want to get, I don't, just don't let me hit my hand. Watch your hand going in. Have a good night. People attracted these types of things. I mean, the crowd that we had out there, it wasn't but five minutes worth of, you know, worth of excitement. And that was a big crowd. Up, man. I almost ran people over on the boardwalk. It was a big like, crowd. You know, but that's the way it happens on the oceanfront. That's why they have so many police officers down here. Life and times. The crowd can get so big so quickly. So. Life and times of Virginia Beach.
surprisingly kids out there who have to play a role of being tough, but are actually looking for a mentor or, or someone, a role model, to, to give them direction. Once they've gained the trust, knowing that you have a sincere uh, concern for them and their lives, then they'll open up to you and give you the opportunity to be an influence in their lives. Possibly one from the fire uh, file. Unit calling. 227T. 10 4, we're calling him Home Park now. Go ahead and put us at uh, 1097. 10 4. That's uh, supposedly a dispute between two people. Um, one guy had a gun, and the people got him down on the ground and got the gun away from him. Where you at? Someone. Or. Heard somebody. Where's he at? Is he, where's the. Somebody said something about a gun? Yeah, we got the gun away from him, and my son took him. It's holding him down. The gun's on the table right now. What are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. I okay. He's too comfortable. All right, so the police are here, all right? You understand? All right. The police. Okay, can I move my left arm, please? Okay, go ahead and pull your left arm out. Slow. Out to your side. Okay, hold on, relax. I tried to gently explain. Stay back there. Ah. You have any other weapons on you? No, I don't. Knives, anything? I have two clips. You have two magazines? Yes, I Where do. Where they at? My back pocket. Ah. Is that your gun? Ruger P95, yes. Who do you work for? I work for a private company out of, um, I'm trying to think where they're from. All right, listen, you roll back up on your knees, all right? And stand up. Hold on. I got nothing else on me. All right. All right, I'm going to take him out of the car. If you guys want to find out what's going on, we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll go we'll we'll about those. He's, he's talked about coming over here before and making threats. Staying out. Yeah. Stupid threats on top of that all the time, and I wish it. Wish my mother would die. Uh, talking about how he was going to alcohol poison her because she must be an alcoholic, all kinds of okay. things. Called uh, called her nephew up and was telling her or telling him to call over here and tell Jesse that he's going to take her away tonight and that uh, he's going to kill everybody and all this other good stuff. Okay. Nobody thought anything of it. My mom and I were back in the den going through some stuff that I haven't moved out of here yet. Right. I come around, door opens, I look when we're coming out. He spins around, says, Time to die. I took him down, spun him around, smacked the gun, brought his arm behind his back. He had the gun in his hand when he, when he came through the door. Did he point it at you? If he didn't have time to get it quite up, he was okay. about right here. Well, where does, what does all this stem from? Why does he have this hostility towards you? My, she's my 15, 15 year old, old sister. He's been telling her that he loves her and that he's going to take her away and he's going to marry her and he's been brainwashing this How child. old is he? Okay. He's 25. Can I talk to you? He needs to go talk to his officer. Private, please. That's what I'm sorry. And. Hey, guys. Is that one of us talking serious? I'm a little riled up right about now. Is that okay with you guys? Mm -hmm. Do the bodies y'all won't do it. There was one in the chamber. You're a lucky man. And she just wanted me to take her out of all this. Get her away from here. So you've been dating this girl? Yeah. You're 25 and she's 15. Yeah. How come you, and her mother said to stay away. How come you know her mother's wishes? She's a 15 year old girl. Uh, I don't know. Stupid mistake on my behalf. All right, I want you have a seat. Whoever was the worst hopes of this thing, I have threatened to kill him. I have threatened to kill anybody and do anything to anybody. Okay. How you guys doing? Okay, okay. Are you, doing? Who's the who's the girl that he's supposedly dating? Back there, Okay. Well, let me speak to her for a second by myself. All right. I need, what I need is your account of the story. What's right. going on? And everything leading up to here. Okay. I've known him for about two or three months. Mm -hmm. I I Thanks. started falling in love with him, and he admitted that he started falling in love with me. Mm -hmm. We became really good friends. We became really close. Mm -hmm. And then 
know, um, you know, we've been talking and stuff, and my mom found out his real age. I didn't exactly know his age at first mm -hmm. until she found out his real age. Right. And he had been calling my cousin and saying he was going to get me out of here because one time I got really angry at my mother and I said, I want out of here. Um, apparently he told Ricky that he was going to kill my mother and that I'm going to leave before. Is your brother in there? Yes. And your cousin's in here? Yes. All right, we're going to talk to your cousin. Ricky? Yes. All right, you can go back in there for me. Appreciate it. Don't talk to anybody about anything. Hey, bud, can you let me in for a second? Are you Ricky? Yes. Come here, bud. What's going on? What do you know? Hey, buddy. What's going on with this? What did uh, did, he, did uh, Will call you earlier, and what did he say? Uh, Will called me earlier about two or three times yesterday, and he called me earlier today, and he wanted to know if he could come over, and I told him, no, not really, but it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. What happened tonight when he came in here? When he came here tonight, what he said? What happened tonight when he came here? Uh, well, he, he walked in the front door and pushed it open. He said, you're going to die. To him? To, um, I don't his name now, Donald. So you saw him draw, she draw the weapon? He actually drew the weapon. You what, you saw that? You yes. saw that? Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to take the gun with me. Good night. I'll be right back. All right. All right. We're going to go down to the second precinct. Um, I've got enough probable cause for warrants on him. Uh, we're going to get warrants for uh, brandishing a firearm and then for disturbing the peace, which is also covered in a certain piece of threatening bodily harm, which he said it's time to die. That's, that's clearly a, a threat and bodily harm. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 